December 6, From the Montreal Massacre to Gun Control, by Heidi Rathjen is a compelling literary exploration of a tragic event that shook Canada and its profound implications on the nation's gun control policies. This poignant narrative discusses the horrific Montreal Massacre of December 6, 1989, a day that witnessed the ruthless killing of 14 women by a lone gunman. Rathjen's work is not just a historical account but a call to action, urging Canadians to re-evaluate and strengthen their gun control measures. Rathjen commences her narrative by vividly describing the chilling atmosphere on that fateful day. The air was heavy with tension, emotions ran high, and lives were forever altered. Her poignant prose brings the reader into the heart of the tragedy, making one feel the raw grief and outrage that permeated Canadian society. The use of evocative language and poignant details serves to underscore the significance of the Montreal massacre in the collective memory of the nation. The author astutely delves into the background and motivations of the shooter, Mark Lapine. His misogynistic beliefs and desire to eradicate feminists, as revealed in a letter he left behind, are portrayed as integral to understanding the tragedy. Rathjen convincingly argues that Lapine's ease of access to firearms played a pivotal role in the massacre. This insight lays the foundation for her central argument, the urgent need for gun control. Rathjen artfully weaves together personal anecdotes and historical facts to construct a compelling narrative. She describes her own experience of the Montreal Massacre, having been present at the Ecole Polytechnique when the shootings occurred. Her personal connection to the tragedy lends a profound authenticity to her writing. Her account of surviving the massacre is heart-wrenching, making the reader acutely aware of the human toll of lax gun control. Furthermore, the narrative is laced with statistics and data that highlight the extent of the gun problem in Canada. Rathjen carefully outlines the lax regulations that enabled individuals like Lapine to acquire firearms with ease. She emphasizes the need for stricter laws and a thorough screening process to prevent potential tragedies. The text also emphasizes the grassroots movement that emerged in the aftermath of the Montreal Massacre, led by Rathjen herself. She recounts the tireless efforts of survivors, families of victims, and concerned citizens who rallied for gun control reform. Rathjen's personal involvement in the campaign lends a sense of urgency and authenticity to her narrative. The author employs powerful rhetoric to convey the gravity of the situation. She describes Canada as a nation at a crossroads, faced with a choice between maintaining the status quo of lenient gun laws or taking decisive action to prevent further bloodshed. Rathjen invokes a sense of responsibility, reminding readers that the tragedy of the Montreal massacre should not be in vain. Throughout the text, Rathjen skillfully refutes arguments against gun control. She tackles the misconception that stricter regulations infringe on individuals' rights by pointing out that safety should always take precedence. Her arguments are logical, well-reasoned, and rooted in a deep understanding of the issue. The narrative concludes with a call to action. Rathjen urges readers to support gun control initiatives and take responsibility for the safety of their fellow citizens. She highlights the progress made in Canada since the tragic events of 1989 but underscores that more needs to be done. In December 6, From the Montreal Massacre to Gun Control, Heidi Rathjen masterfully combines personal experience, historical context, and a persuasive argument to craft a compelling literary analysis. Her narrative serves as a powerful reminder of the devastating consequences of lax gun control and a rallying cry for change. Rathjen's work challenges Canadians to confront their past and build a safer future by enacting comprehensive gun control measures.